the first question is, uh, what, now we would like to have a wrap-up of what happened here during these days. OK, so we're on the last day of the Mobile World Congress and uh, we've had something more than 60,000 people attending the event. Uh, we have eight halls at the show here, full of the equipment vendors, of the mobile operators, of all of the handset makers. We have a conference that runs from Monday through to uh, Thursday. We've had some amazing keynote speakers from Eric Schmidt at Google to uh, Bill Ford Jr. from Ford Motor Company uh, and many others, Ericsson, uh, Nokia. We've had some incredible Cisco. speakers, Cisco. Um, and in those sessions, what's extraordinary is this year the theme of all of these different converging industries. So we have the automotive sector, we have the health sector, we have the entertainment sector, the internet companies, the energy companies, and of course the finance companies. Uh, mobile money, for example, is becoming a very big theme and using your mobile phone to pay for goods. Uh, you can monitor your health using a mobile phone. Uh, you can uh, connect your car, you can connect your house. Your life is becoming connected. And these are all the topics that we've been discussing uh, this week at the Mobile World Congress. Uh, we also have uh, had our annual awards and we had uh, amazing 32 winners of the awards. Uh, extraordinary. And the Chairman's Award, which was awarded to NTT Docomo and, Japan and SoftBank and KDDI in Japan for their work in bringing mobile communications to save the lives of people uh, in Japan after the earthquake. Uh, so I think it all this shows how mobile is becoming a central tool in your life. Okay. Next year you're moving to a new venue. Tell us about it. Yes, it's not far away. In fact, uh, it's just down the road at a, a called Grand Via, and uh, the space there is uh, astronomical in terms of uh, what it gives us an opportunity to expand and make the visitor experience a much more comfortable one. Uh, State-of-the-art infrastructure, uh, it's got a metro station there, it's very close to the airport, but more importantly, it gives us room to bring many of these companies I talk about uh, new companies that are coming to mobile, a chance to come and be part of the mobile world. We haven't had the space to do that before. Um, so we're very, very excited about that. We also announced on Monday that Barcelona is the mobile world capital, where the government is investing here in bringing mobile technology into everything to do with the city, from transport to logistics, to content, to sports. Uh, everything that the city has, they are investing to put mobile to make this a leading edge city. So we're excited to be here. Next year we hope to have a Greek pavilion here. I would like a comment on that. Uh, I, I'm surprised. I've been coming for 17 years and I've seen many countries uh, invest, bring, come to the show to uh, showcase the technology talent that they have in their, in their companies. I can tell you, uh, they come back year after year after year because there's a huge return on that, small investment. Uh, they get companies to invest, to partner, uh, and it brings and attracts talent to their country. I think it's, uh, it's difficult to underestimate just how important that is. And I've, I work closely with uh, UK Trade and Invest, uh, the government uh, technology, and they see this. This is key to their strategy for attracting businesses and staying on the front of technology trends. Thank you very much. Pleasure, a real pleasure.